this Typhoon short summary, the first I have done, I've only done hurricanes up to this point, is going to be discussing Super Typhoon Tip of 1979. Typhoon Tip is a record holder in a few ways, and we will see that in our significance page. Uh, before we get into anything, a quick note is that in the Philippines, Typhoon Tip was known as Typhoon Warling. Why the Philippines decides to use different names is beyond me, and I don't like it. Discussing this bad boy's formation on landfall, what would become Tip was first officially seen on October 3rd, and named also on October 3rd as Tropical Depression 23W, or 23 West, it can also be said. There was Tropical Storm Roger in front of this uh, depression that was hindering this depression's early development, causing it, as you can see on the map here, to do some big and small loops, essentially waiting for its time to shine, and shine it would. Around October 7th, it's guessed to be around, Tropical Depression 23W would then become Tropical Storm Tip. At this point, it is still waiting for Roger's influence to uh, not be a thing anymore and for Roger to, 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 to just go away. You know, Roger, just leave Tip alone. Eventually, this, eventually Roger does do that, and by around October 9th, Tropical Storm Tip is now Typhoon Tip. This is after Typhoon Tip, or Tropical Storm Tip, has been getting itself organized and finally establishing a northwestern path. By the next day, late October 10th, Typhoon Tip is now a Category 4 equivalent typhoon. Quick note is that obviously the hurricane scale is not used in the Western Pacific. Both scales are, are a typhoon. The JMA, Japan Meteorological Agency, uh, classifies Tip as a violent typhoon, and the typhoon equivalent for the Cephir Simpson hurricane scale is a Category 5 super typhoon. From the time that Tip became a typhoon to now, on October 11th, the pressure had dropped by a pretty impressive 92 millibars. Tip would reach would achieve one minute maximum sustained winds of 305 kilometers per hour, or 190 miles per hour, and 10 minute sustained winds of 260 kilometers per hour, or 160 miles per hour. You definitely want to look more towards your 10 minute sustained rather than your one minute sustained for terms of strength for a cyclone, typhoon, or hurricane. And that really proves that it is indeed consistent. Lastly, Typhoon Tip would make would make landfall on the island of Honshu on October 19th with winds of 130 kilometers per hour. Typhoon Tip would definitely leave an impact on Japan. Typhoon Tip would kill more than 90 people, injure 283 and caused 44 to go missing. These 44 missing would be due to ships that were sunk by Super Typhoon Tip. Anderson, S-E-N, not S-O-N, Air Force Base, reported maximum precipitation of 23.1 centimeters, that is over eight inches of rainfall. This significant rainfall at a difference uh, base, this time an army base, Camp Fuji, would breach a flood wall there. At Camp Fuji, there was uh, fuel bladders. They, these were rubber fuel bladders instead of fuel tanks that I wrote here. My bad there. And there were hoses attached to them. Well, these hoses managed to get dislodged, and however it happened, the fuel was set ablaze. This fire would end up killing 13. Just, just mentioned some sunken ships. Typhoon Tip in total would ground or sink 
a total of eight vessels. This heavy rainfall on top of what Anderson Air Force Base recorded and the rainfall at Camp Fuji caused 600 mudslides in Japan. This rainfall would also flood 22,000 homes, leaving 11,000 homeless. Lastly, <clears throat> sorry, lastly, embankments, river embankments that is, broke in, a, in approximately 70 places. This would cause the destruction of 27 bridges. We are now on to our significance, and Typhoon Tip was, was indeed a very significant typhoon. Super Typhoon Tip holds the record for the largest ever tropical system globally at 2,220 kilometers wide. This is not something that is impossible to match. In fact, Hurricane Sandy or Superstorm Sandy, depending on which one you want to call it, either is fine, reached close to I think it was 2,100 kilometers, so definitely not that far off. While not a record holder in terms of eye temperature, Typhoon Tip did have a very, very warm eye temperature of 30 Celsius. This is just shy of 90 degrees Fahrenheit at around 88 Fahrenheit, if I'm not mistaken. Typhoon Tip also holds the record for the largest tropical storm wind radius at 1,086 kilometers from the center of the storm and extending 675 miles out there was still tropical storm force winds. A official but also technical record at the same time Super Typhoon Tip holds the, holds the record for the lowest cyclone pressure globally at 870 millibars. This is the minimum recorded pressure globally, like I just said, and I say recorded because uh, routine maintenance, sorry, routine reconnaissance, not maintenance, you're not repairing a hurricane, you're looking at it. Uh, flights were stopped in the Pacific, in the Western Pacific, in 89. This causes some problems. Most typhoons reach their maximum intensity far from land. So this posed a problem when trying to truly determine their maximum wind speeds and specifically pressures because you, you do need a radio sound to, to accurately measure the pressure inside of a typhoon or a hurricane or a cyclone. So there's definitely a problem there. Hurricane Patricia of 2015, most recent one that I've talked about, except for TIP, which is happening right now, reached a minimum of 872. It is possible that Patricia, uh, undocumented, went at a lower pressure, although we don't know. Besides Hurricane Patricia, there have also been around four other typhoons that have possibly beat this record, but again, they haven't they're not official pressures, so Typhoon Tip still holds the record. And surprising from an American perspective, because hurricanes are hurricane names are retired very quickly, like they're not even used next year type deal. T Tip would not be retired until a decade after this monster happened. That is, again, from an American perspective where, in, say, in 2005, you had the most amount of names retired ever because of how significant all of them were. And then this monster storm's name isn't retired until a decade later is very odd to me. One last thing, one of the last things here, is that the USAF flew 60 reconnaissance flights into TIP. This makes Super Typhoon Tip one of the most closely documented typhoons ever. Not the most. I'm not sure which one is actually the most because, well, I can't find that record at least. I'll keep on looking though. But as far as I know, 
to have 60 individual flights go into a storm and record it is a damn lot. Lastly, Super Typhoon Tip is ranked, is ranked as number one on the Japan Meteorological Agency's cyclone list, or JMA's cyclone list. This is because of those 10-minute sustained winds, which were, again, that 260 kilometers per hour, or 160 miles per hour. 160 miles per hour is Category 5 equivalent, and that is only just edging into Category 5. Cat 5 starts at 157, but still, that is still Category 5 winds, and that is very, very impressive. And that is all that I have for Typhoon Tip, a monster cyclone whose name wouldn't be retired until a decade later, and holds many records, and has for quite a while now. It's been, let's see, so 2019, it's been more than more than 40 years, it's been like 43 years, and some of, the re some of these records are, all of these have not been touched, at least officially. I hope to see all of you in the next video, and thank you for watching.